Welcome back to another Film Geek Movie Review. Today I'm about ready to hit the road and check out the new film, Armageddon Time. Now I do know Armageddon Time was released in cities uh, not too long ago. It was a limited release, but it's just now hitting Kansas City, so I'm just now able to go see this film. Really looking forward to this movie. I have a very big soft spot in my heart for the slice of life family drama, and this is definitely one of them. The film is starring Anthony Hopkins, Anne, Anne Hathaway, and Jeremy Strong. The film takes place in the early 80s, somewhere around 1980, 1981. I know in the trailer they mentioned the election of President Reagan, which he was elected in 1980, but he became president. He served his presidency beginning in 1981, so it could be somewhere around there. Anywho, it's the drama about a family in the 1980s. I mean, I'm sorry. I am a sucker for these kind of films. I just love these little slice of life dramas that happen. And this looks like it's definitely going to be one of those movies that you're going to see in the Oscar awards and everything like that. One of those kind of films. So I need to get out of here. It is time for me to hit the road and go check out Armageddon Time. Just getting home from seeing the movie Armageddon Time, and guys, I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, this is another one that I have really nothing negative to say about the film. Okay, the first thing I'm going to start off with, of course, is the performances. In an intense drama type situation, the performances are really one of the more important things. And let me tell you guys, everyone is amazing in this film. Now, two actors I did not mention in my intro, and that actually was the two main characters, and that was Banks Rapita and uh, Jalen Webb. They both played the two young boys in this. this I, I thought it was going to be more of a slice of life film, which it is, but it is a more of a coming of age film. And I, I did like that. I did like that. Uh, so yes, the acting out of these two young actors is outstanding. I mean, phenomenal job. These two had a lot of heavy lifting as acting goes, and they really knock it out of the ballpark. Now, I also noticed that uh, Banks repeat up and I think I'm getting that name correct. I apologize if I'm getting it wrong. But he also starred in the movie The Black Phone earlier this year and also delivered a stellar performance in that film. So I think this kid's got one heck of a bright future ahead of him. And also, Jalen Webb, he plays the other young man in the story. He has, again, a lot of heavy lifting. There's a lot of lot of heavy subject matter in this film and this young man does an excellent job in his role so i wanted to say that right out the way i have a tendency to give child actors a hard time and man let me tell you they do outstanding work in this film and considering they're on screen for a good portion of the film as the main characters it's a good thing that they're really great the script itself, the story, is really good. Like I said, this is a coming-of-age film. It does a really great job of showing, you know, just kind of, I would say, life in the 80s. And this is something that I really liked, too. And this sounds strange to say this, but I liked the fact that this film did not 
fill me with like nostalgia for the 80s. It was really nice to see a film that was set in the 80s. They don't try to like blow you away with non-stop nostalgia. No offense to Stranger Things, but I'm kind of using that as an example here. And wh what I mean is, is that this is a film set in that time period. You are not going to hear a bunch of new wave music. You're not going to see a bunch of people walking around, you know, with dressed like, uh, uh, Madonna. I can't believe I forgot Madonna's name just there. But these are things you are not going to see in this film. This is a straightforward movie that really could have taken place in any time period. It just so happens to take place in the 80s. And then the last performance I'm going to talk about is uh, Anthony Hopkins. He is, again, just a master of the craft. He is so outstanding in this film. And I'm not going to lie, the man... He got some tears out of my eye, and that, that, that has a little bit to do with the fact that he really, his character really reminded me of my grandfather, who passed away a few years ago. So it really hit me in the feels, got a little personal there, so that again could make me a little biased on this film, but anyways... I thought this movie was absolutely outstanding. This is a must-see film. I would be surprised if I don't see some awards coming for this movie down the pipeline. I think it was an excellent film, and I think that people, if it's in your city, go out check this movie out if you do like these kind of coming-of-age dramas. Okay, guys, so this is, again, my personal opinion, and this is my grade. My grade on this film is a solid A+. I really enjoyed this movie. It touched me. It really kind of reminded me of that time in my life. I was a little younger than the main character in this film. He's around 11 or 12. He's in sixth grade. When this movie, uh, that time period, I would have been a first grader. So, there. It was, I'm a little... I'm not as old as I look, okay? <laughs> well, anyways, guys, this film is excellent. It is so good. And there's also some really cool cinematography. I forgot to bring that up. There's some really amazing and some cool shots. There's these cool little dream sequences that he does throughout the film, and I like the way that those are shot also. It just really was a very good movie. I really enjoyed this film. So A+, plus, great job, everybody. Excellent film. All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks again for checking out the Film Geek. If you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and give me the old thumbs up so I know you like what you're seeing. And if there's one more thing you could do, folks, that is keep watching movies. You know I'm going to.